Hi everybody and welcome to the Office Hours segment for Module 2 where we were looking at Open Justice. Now we've covered a fair bit in our first few weeks of media law and I'd just like to recap our Module 2 looking at Open Justice, Contempt of Court, Freedom of Information and Court Reporting Restrictions. Now like our other modules it was centered around a learning problem and our learning problem this time was to do with the Morton Island murder. Now this was somewhat different from the learning problem from your first module because it gave you several errors I suppose or, uh, or topic areas within the actual problem itself for you to address as if you were going to remedy them uh, pre-publication or perhaps as a me an advising media lawyer to advise on how they should be addressed pre-publication. It also had some social media comments attached. Now like all the learning problems you really needed to look at this in terms of the topic areas we were covering as part of uh, the, those, uh, those chapters. So a good answer would probably mention the fact that it sits within a context of open justice but that open justice isn't always totally open, that some restrictions on some reporting can apply and these restrictions might come from somewhere within the area of contempt of court, particularly the restrictions attached to sub judice contempt which is prejudicial publicity about a case before it uh, comes to trial or, or during the judicial or um, criminal process after somebody has been arrested or charged. Related to that of course you would probably need to mention the time zones and those time zones appear in the textbook as a table and you'd need to identify from the facts of that learning problem where this was in the time zone uh, scenario. Now there could be defamation issues attached to this problem but I would counsel you not to get bogged down in defamation issues for this particular problem because we're addressing it within the module dealing with uh, open justice, contempt of court and court reporting restrictions. So while you might mention that there could be some defamation uh, worries attached to it, uh, which you're counseled to do as part of the time zones information, uh, don't dwell on that, don't treat it as a defamation problem, treat it more as a contempt and crime court reporting restrictions problem. Because there are many of those as well and you'll see them as you read the chapter on restrictions to do with court reporting and the red flag or the red light zones attached to covering a, a criminal uh, matter through that process, you'll find that there are various restrictions that appear within the problem, uh, things like the identification of sexual uh, crime accused and victims, um, the mention of children in that context, uh, a, a range of things to do with other reporting restrictions, and of course the various elements of contempt of court, sub judice contempt, where there can be prejudicial publicity related to the visual identification uh, that might affect witnesses testimony, uh, material that might in, in, insinuate the, the guilt or the even the innocence of an accused, uh, character information, material going to previous charges and so on. Now of course we can't publish nothing uh, this is a high-profile murder, sex crime, and the media are hungry to have something published out there. So what you need to do is navigate these restrictions, but still manage to get something about the matter uh, publishable. You don't want to waste all of your time rewriting the material, because you won't be able to do that within your 600 words. You're better to use those words to talk about, in principle, the things that can and can't be covered, and the reasons why, and uh, some recent cases or, or uh, classic cases and examples as to why you are restricted in those ways. 
Now, looking at your discussion board discussion, you're well on track there. And thanks to the tutors who have participated in that as well to uh, get you on track with your discussion board discussion about that. So by now in the course, you, you should have your two first learning problems in the bag, or at least drafts of them, the 600 word drafts in the bag, uh, ready for submission with the third one that comes from the next module based around defamation. And uh, you might just go back and polish them at that point and tie them all together into a single document with the appropriate cover sheet, run them through Turnitin in the draft and final submission modes and attach at the front of that any, uh, any extensions or any special notes for consideration that you need attached to it as well. In other words, it all gets submitted as a single document. But more about that as it gets closer. I hope you've enjoyed navigating the problem and the material that we've covered in the Open Justice module, and I really hope you get your teeth into the next one on defamation. We'll see you then.